Right, so as we all know, medical school has a ton of lecture content that ultimately trains you to be a doctor. And whilst that is true, what we don't realize is that there literally is hundreds of lectures out there which are either a waste of time or we don't necessarily have to spend the complete amount of time to actually watch these lectures. What is going on guys? My name is Kenji and welcome back to the channel. I hope it's not the first time you're watching one of my videos, but just in case it is, I'm a fourth year medical student and biomedical science graduate studying at King's College London. In this video, I'll be taking you guys through the whole entire process of how I was able to watch over 300 hours of lecture content my first year of medical school whilst also working a full-time job at the same time. Now before I get started I obviously have to say that I definitely don't really recommend that you guys do this for every single lecture. I would only recommend that you guys do this for lectures such as introductory lectures which don't exactly require you to learn new amounts of information. But that being said let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you guys the exact technique that I used. Right so this technique will only work for pre-recorded lectures and for this COVID kind of period that we're in right now in university that is quite helpful. As well as that it'll also work for any sort of video content that you're given in university which for me has been a massive life changer and has been so useful. So let me show you guys exactly how I do that. What I actually do to speed up the content is to use something called video speed controller. So if you go onto Google, type into Google, click on the Chrome extension here. It's something you can actually add to your Chrome. Over here you can see it, video speed controller. And essentially once you add it to your Chrome, it will allow you to control the speed of any sort of video out there, whether it's your lectures, whether it's any videos you need to watch for university, absolutely anything that involves you know, videos, it will allow you to actually speed up the uh, speed of the video. So over here on my screen is an example of a lecture that I was given a while ago. Again, don't really worry about what it is. What I wanna show you is the principle. So if we actually press play on this, uh, on this lecture here, as you can see, it will continue to play in normal speed. But if I feel like this is actually a part that I completely understand or doesn't really require much of my attention, what I'll do is I'll press D on my keyboard, which as you can see here in the top left corner, speeds up the entire lecture. So what I'll normally do is sometimes I'll speed it up to around two times speed, sometimes even two and a half times speed to a level where I can still understand what's going on without getting too lost. Also, where this is actually really, really useful is that if I find a lecture to be you know, a bit too complicated and I actually want to slow down the lecture content to try and understand a bit better, you can actually also just um, decrease the speed of the video to maybe 0.7 times speed, half the speed as well sometimes, which is really, really useful for those really difficult lectures that you may not quite understand. And that's pretty much it, guys. This is a nice quick video that I absolutely had to make because when I honestly discovered this, it changed the game for me in university and it saved me countless hours. If this video has been somewhat useful for you guys, please do me a favor and click thumbs up down below leave a comment as well to let me know make sure you're subscribed and i'll see you guys on the next one